night. It's also primary day in Delaware. And we're getting our first look at some of the results in the first state, including one that could potentially make history. Action News reporter Sharifa Jackson has that story from Newcastle tonight. If you couldn't tell from the signs on nearly every Delaware street. Most I've ever seen. And the various campaign workers. And I was supposed to be done at 5 and I'm still here putting in time. So I guess I'll be here to 8. And I'm still smiling. It was primary day in the first state. Poll opened at 7 a.m. as voters cast their ballots. Change was top of mind. I want to see things happen, make things happen. There's a lot of different changes coming up. Um, I'm a little nervous. We met Alicia Mercer outside the Music School of Delaware, located on Washington Street in Wilmington. Came straight from work, grabbed my son from medical daycare, and now I'm here voting. So I feel like if I can make it out, everyone should make it out. She was one of the last to cast her vote in what turned out to be a monumental night for Delaware State Senator Sarah McBride. <laughs> now the Democratic nominee for the state's only U.S. House seat, recently vacated by Representative Lisa Blunt Rochester. McBride possibly on her way to become the first openly transgender person elected to Congress. I am just filled with an immense amount of gratitude to the tens of thousands of Delawareans who have entrusted me with the honor and the responsibility of being the Democratic nominee. She'll be facing the Republican candidate, former police officer John Whalen III in November. Besides the presidential race, one of many races local voters say they will once again bring them to the polls. It's exciting, it's an exciting time to be a voter. You know, it, it really is. is. Yeah. Yeah, everyone planning to do this all over again in November. We spoke to an election official. He said things went smooth today. He also says it was a steady flow of people all day. In Wilmington, Sharifa Jackson, Channel 6 Action News.